I was recently charged with a task to simplify an input shaft for analysis because of failures in the field. The shaft is actually from a JT open file, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up directly in Spaceclaim and see if I can get the job done quickly and easily. As you can see, it's bringing in each of the components in the assembly and bringing them all together into the Spaceclaim environment. Once it's imported, I'll just open the shaft by itself and start work there. Now I have the shaft open, all of the failures have been on the right hand end of this model, so I'll go ahead and start by splitting the body along this circular surface right here, and then I'll hide the entire left end of the model, so I can concentrate just on the right hand side. The first thing I'll do is move all the way to the right hand side, and start by removing the complex splines by using a box select method, and then selecting that last little surface there, and then I can use the fill tool to remove all of those splines in one simple movement. For the next set of splines, what I'm going to be able to do here is pull on the circular surface at the back of the splines and start pulling that forward. I can eyeball that into shape, or I can use the pull up to command to actually pull that circular surface all the way up to the chamfered edge. I'll finish that off then by simply filling in the chamfer with the, with the fill tool once again. The third technique I'll show you is removing the splines from the back end. What I'm going to do is jump into sectional mode here, and then I'm going to use our cylinder tool that snaps to all of the existing geometry to pull a cylinder out that will overlap with all of that spline geometry and therefore uh, make it a simple mesh to create with my analysis package. Here can the final result, ready to be exported out to my analysis package. I can choose whichever format I like. In this case, I'll go ahead and put it out as a parasolid text file format. That's how I was able to save a lot of time by using SpaceClaim. Thanks very much.